Kenwood's and XR1000 series repeaters have many clever features and functions. SIP, Session Initiated Protocol, is the most common standard for equipment to talk to telephony systems. It is one of many features that add real value to a radio system for almost all users. The SIP function adds telephone connectivity from radio to phone and phone to radio. Access to individual and group calls is supported along with live dialing. Live dialing from the radio is used to access telephone functions such as redirect and placing a telephone caller on hold. Let's run through the operation in detail with our demo system. The demo system comprises of a Raspberry Pi running the Asterix Free PBX. Connectivity to a mobile phone is provided by a Wi-Fi router. In order to use this function, the SIP app needs to be installed on your phone. Any SIP app will do. A physical SIP phone could also be used. To make a group call from a telephone, dial 22, followed by the required group number. 22101 will call the radios in group 101. The radios in the group will all ring, and any radio user can simply press PTT and answer the incoming call. All radios in the group will now be able to hear the phone and participate in the call. Any radio with a keypad can end the call by pressing PTT and star key, or the call ends when the phone user hangs up. To make an individual call, simply dial 11 followed by the radio's individual ID, dialing 111001 to individually call radio 1001. This works in the same way as a group call, except that the single radio is in the call with the phone user. Outgoing calls from the radio are equally as easy. Speed dial numbers can be stored within the radio for quick access. The user can also use a direct entry freeform dialing and press send. The radio user will hear progress tones and the telephone will ring. When the telephone user answers, then the call will be connected. Calls are ended in the same way as with incoming calls. Once in a call, telephony functions are normally accessed by the user pressing DTMF digits at the same time as pressing PTT. Then using the keypad, or if configured, just pressing the numeric keys. The in-call functions such as voicemail, hold, divert, etc. are all functions of the specific PBX being used. The radio simply sends commands to access these functions. Pressing PTT and dialing causes the radio to play out DTMF digits to the radio user as comfort tones. DTMF is not being used over the radio, it's digital signaling. That simply sounds like DTMF in the same way a mobile phone does when in live dial. The steering digits, 11 and 22, used for this demonstration are all configured and need to be set for the final configuration within your customer's PBX. It's possible the numbers chosen may already be used within the customer's PBX, so other numbers can be configured easily. Congratulations. You have successfully installed and executed the Asterisk Open Source PBX. You have also installed a set of sample sounds and configuration files that should help you get started. SIP is a licensed function within the repeater and will work in both digital radio protocols, DMR and NXDN. You will also need the conventional IP network license option. Demonstrating SIP telephony is what's going to sell it to the end users. Kenwood have some recommendations for a test setup that is simple and standalone. The SIP server is simply a Raspberry Pi with Asterix Free PBX installed and a Wi Fi router. Using your mobile phone, log on to the Wi Fi router, then run a SIP application, then simply configure this app to be a SIP extension and you're up and running. If you need further help with this setup, Kenwood has a datasheet available. Telephone numbers can be stored in the same list as radio numbers to make access simple and intuitive, or in a separate phone only list. If you have a multi repeater wide area system, then the telephone function can also use these resources. You only need a SIP license for the host repeater, only one license needed for the system, as shown. A telephone call coming in from a repeater can be routed to a destination SIP repeater. This works for both making and receiving calls. Adding telephone services to a new or existing radio system can be a real way to add value for the end users. It's a feature that just about every end user is going to want, whether they use this just a few times a week or many times a day. 
All types of radio can both make and receive calls, but radios without a keypad or display is a little more difficult and are limited to the number of different calls they can make. For more information on how to put together your own demo system, please contact Kenwood. Kenwood.